Welcome to today's tutorial about the wonderful world of Canva. Today I will be showing you how to make an excellent poster presentation. Pretty soon you'll have the option to use Canva to make an infographic about dingoes. Today's poster will be a test to see if you can listen and follow instructions. Your teachers will be looking at your posters when they are finished. Teachers, feel free to stop this video at any point to allow students to complete each step. Firstly, you'll need to log into your school Google account. I'll give you a moment to do that. Then you'll need to go to Google and search Canva. Click on the top Canva search result in Google. It will ask you if you want to continue by using your Google account. Click yes and then continue. It might also ask to confirm it's you. Once you get to the Canva homepage, you'll see a purple button up in the top right hand corner that says create a design. Click on that button and then click on classroom poster, which should be the third option down. When you get to the classroom poster page, you'll see a blank page ready for you to design on. I know it's exciting to see all these options, but we are going to do a quick design together today. Down the left hand side, you will see that there are a few words. Read them with me. Design, elements, text, brand, uploads, draw, projects. Today we will be using elements and text only. Please click on elements. In the search bar, you are going to type sky background and press enter on your keyboard. You'll notice that just underneath the search bar, there are the words all, graphics, photos and videos. Today we are only going to use graphics, so please click on the word graphics. The really cool thing about Canva is that you can click on a graphic and drag it over to your page. I want you to left click on a graphic of the sky that you like and drag and drop it onto your page. If it's not quite the right size, use the white circles in the corner of the picture to drag it in or out to make your sky bigger or smaller. Don't worry if some of the picture is hanging over the edge. This will disappear in a moment. Now we want to lock our background in place so it doesn't move around. At the bottom of your picture, there is a plus icon, a bin, and then three dots. You'll need to click on the three dots. You'll see a lock icon that says lock. Click on that. Great, we have our background now. We just need to add a heading. On the left hand side of your screen, you are going to click on text. You'll see a search bar, a purple box that says add a text box, add a heading, add a subheading, and then some more options underneath. We are going to click on add a heading. Backspace the letters in your text box until there are none left. Then you are going to type dingoes. I want you to left click on the word dingoes two times until it is blue. We are going to change the font. On the right hand side of the search bar, there is a box that says Canva Sans. I want you to click on that box. On the left side of your page, there will be lots of options for fonts. I want you to search for the word Studly. When you see the word Studly pop up, please click on it. It should change your font. If you would like to change the size and position of your text, you can left click in your text box three times to make the text blue. Then next to the font box, there is a size box. You can click on increase or decrease size, or you can type your own text size in. Another option is to click on your text box and use the white dots in the corners to drag and make your writing smaller or bigger. If you ever need to undo an action, there is an undo button in the blue bar at the top of your screen. Now we are going to add a subheading. Click on the word text down the left hand side of the Canva screen. 
Click on the button that says add a subheading. Backspace the letters in the text box until there are none left. Then type dingoes are a native Australian animal. We are going back to the left hand side and clicking on elements. In the search bar you are going to type text box and press enter. Click on graphics and then select a text box that you like. Click on the text box you like and drag it over to your poster where your writing is. Oops, you'll notice that our text box has covered up our writing. Easily fixed. Click on the three dots, then click on layer. It looks like two pieces of paper on top of each other. Then click on send backward. We definitely don't want to click on send to back because that will put our text box all the way behind our sky picture and we won't be able to see it. And we can't click on send to front because it already is all the way at the front. We are going back to elements now, so click on the word elements down the left hand side of the Canva page. I want you to go to the search bar and type in sand and press enter. Click on graphics and choose a sand that you like. Click on it and drag it over to your poster. Remember, if it is the wrong size for your page, you can use the dots in the corner of your sand picture to drag and make it bigger or smaller. Now, back to elements for one final thing. Click on elements, search the word dingo, and then hit the enter button on your keyboard. Select graphics under the search bar and choose a dingo that you like the look of. Click on it and drag it onto your page. Great, we're pretty much finished. If you like, you can add some more information or even other graphics. I'm going to add a gum tree and a sun to mine. The really cool thing about Canva is that it automatically saves your work so you'll never lose your hard work. I'll show you how to get back up here now. Up in the top left hand corner, there are three lines. Click on those lines. It will open up a menu. Click on the home button. Now on the left hand side of the page, it will say Batemans Bay Public School, Home, Magic Studio, Projects and Templates. I want you to click on Projects. You should be able to see the words All, Folders, Designs, Images. I want you to click on Designs. This is where all of your projects will be saved. Remember, if you decide to make a Canva poster and you get a little stuck, just come back to this video and check out how to complete a step. Happy making!